Why do Orthodox have a calendar telling you what fasts to do and when? First, I must clarify that this form of fasting was passed on in the early church from Jewish practice. In the Gospel of Matthew, Christ said, When you fast, do not be like the hypocrites, which indicates that the Jews fasted. It also indicates that Christ assumes that one fasts, since he said, When you fast, and not if you fast. Fasting is not something that only developed alongside Christianity. Rather, it is a practice that had been followed by the Jews. And even scripture mentions that Christ fasted and the Orthodox Church takes St. Paul's instruction that there should be order in the church very seriously. This order is found in the rubrics, the calendar, and the hymnology. The fasting days and feast days, once we see that most of what we do as Orthodox and how Orthodoxy is expressed is a faithful obedience to that very instruction to have order in the church. In fact, most of our Christian life is experienced together, not singularly. Sure, we will be judged individually, but our faith is lived communally. This is why we have prayer books as well, not to discourage private prayer, but to ensure that the faithful are praying the prayers of the church with the church. Such uniformity helps bond us together and graft newcomers to the tree. You see, a calendar can help all of us together to fast the same way because our faith is lived out and strengthened together as one body of Christ, not as lone rangers. An organized discipline nurtures the soul, especially in the midst of our current highly chaotic culture. And if we come to church to pray together, why shouldn't we strive to similarly prepare together? I can imagine many Protestants asking about wanting to do a personal fast and asking why isn't that orthodox and if they become orthodox can they do their own fasts apart from organized orthodox fasts like if they feel led by god to fast well many orthodox actually have some level of privatized fasting guided by their priest most of us are actually encouraged to do this so why we have fasts every wednesday and friday unless there's a feast on that day is that christ was betrayed on a wednesday and crucified on a friday these are days to commemorate those events by fasting and we fast to prepare ourselves for every feast with each feast is the holy eucharist so the fast is in preparation for that too as to why we have fasting of meat rather than whatever food we like the reason is oftentimes it isn't about the sacrifice but discipline as is much with the church to control our worldly desires the outward act of controlling basic physical needs prepares our souls for controlling our bodies spiritual desires gives us pause to reflect on the upcoming holy day and allows us to practice monastic asceticism to bring us closer to God. Not to mention giving up animal products for the duration of fasts is good for the body, as it makes your cholesterol go down. A cardiologist who isn't even orthodox commented that he'd be out of a job if all of his patients followed orthodox guidelines. I need to clarify, these dates aren't under compulsion per se. It's never about control. We value our free will too much. Only monastics are under obedience. However, if your priest is controlling you, flee and find a better one. The calendar is for our salvation. If we spend countless hours reading every ingredient label and the like, then we become just as controlled by our fasting and in the process, miss the whole point of fasting in the first place. There is nothing essentially wrong with meat and dairy products in and of themselves, but even the Jenny Craig folks will tell you that if you want to lighten your physical load, red meat and dairy products should be the first things to go, or at least be eaten in moderation. Hence, an obsession with reading labels can be just as problematic as an obsession with food. There needs to be a balance, lest our fasting be the sort that Christ himself condemns, the fasting of the Pharisees. Saint John Kronstadt said, we don't fast just to make our life harder. Fasting has a reason. To what end do fasting and penitence lead for what purpose is this trouble taken they lead to the cleansing of the soul from sins to peace of heart to union with god they fill us with devotion and sonship and give us boldness before god for any protestant or secular folks who want to bring up matthew chapter 6 as a supposed contradiction to our fasting calendar i'd like to point out that it's not like it's taboo for us to discuss doing prayer fasting almsgiving together it's when we make it an opportunity to boast about our supposed virtue that we lose sight of our relationship with god and how it's his work 
workmanship in our lives that makes virtuous living possible. We Orthodox agree that as far as it is possible, it is good to keep our good works hidden so we don't fall prey to vainglory or pride, and that the reward has to do more with the inward disposition of our hearts. Mm-hmm.